Okay, so you can see I, I um, rinsed all the hair out already. And this is what it looks like now. Um, I had about seven bundles when I got finished. Little small bundles. This one is pretty a pretty good size bundle. Um, anyway, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber band off the end, the tip end of the hair. I'm going to pull that off. And um, I'm going to unplait the hair as well. It's up to you whether or not you want to unplait it. Um, it dries faster if you unplait the hair. So I'm going to um, go ahead and undo that. And this is wet and wavy um, hair. Like I said earlier, this is it's wet and wavy hair. So it's going to be wavy anyway. So I'm just going to unplait it. And I'm going to go ahead and unplait all of them right quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to get a tape measure and see if the hair is still 18 inches long. So this is the, this is the tip of it. So I'm going to lay the tape measure right there. And I'm going to have to slide up so you can see. And that's what 18 inches is. You can see the hair, some of it is a little longer. Since it's wet and wavy hair, it actually measures out to 21 inches. So um, if you minus the little straggly ends or whatever, it's actually, my hair is still, the hair is still 18 inches. So um, after um, I took the plait out, this is the last section that I have. I ran the comb through it again. I just broke the teeth out of my comb. But anyway, um, I still I ran the comb through it one more time toward the ends of it, which is really easy to um, comb out since I already ran the comb through it once I already. And I did the same thing for the ends of the hair. Just ran the comb through it. It's a little tangled, but not much. So the comb went right through it. That's all the hair that came out that's in the comb. Now this is from all of the sections that I combed out. Okay, so after I ran the comb through the hair, I took a clothes hanger and I just uh, put, hung it on the clothes hanger like that. And close it up. Hold on. And I put it, made sure I got it behind the rubber band so it wouldn't slide off. So I didn't do this one like that. Let's see. Like that, as you can see, how much hair that is. That's a lot of hair to um, reuse. And this is the end of the hair. You can see the end, the ends of it, like that. Like I said, this is wet and wavy hair, so it's automatically wavy. That's the original wave that you get from it. So I'm going to leave this hanging, let it dry, and after that, it's good to go. I'm ready to um, reuse it when I get ready to rebraid my hair. But uh, once it completely dries, completely. I'll put it back in its original packaging like this. This is the original package that I saved that it came in. I'll put it back in that and it'll be ready to go for when I get ready to rebraid my hair. Um, the method that I use, I do that all the time. I reuse my hair all the time uh, when I purchase it. Uh, and I reuse my hair. So this year I don't even have to uh, buy any hair to rebraid my hair with. I just use the same hair. And, um, I still have some hair left over from, from the bag that I brought last year. So, like I said, I'm, I know I got plenty of hair. I don't have to re, uh, buy any more hair. So, when I braid my hair this year, I'm actually doing it for free since I do it myself. So, yeah. So, um, I recommend doing this um, method probably about... I normally do mine about two to three months before I decide to actually braid my hair. Because I'm lazy. So, I don't even straighten all my hair out in one day. I'll take my time and do it over a period of time. But, um... I recommend doing it. it. It'll really save you a lot of money. And like I said, if you spend, in my opinion, this is my personal opinion, if you spend $50, $60 for a bag of human hair, I just, for braiding hair, I just, I would, i put it this way, me, I would reuse the hair. I wouldn't throw it away when I take it out. So that's just me. So that's the way I uh, reuse my human hair. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you decide to try this method out and it works really well for you. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.